Hello Pro Gun YouTube. I made a video on the Glock 44 a little bit earlier, two weeks ago, and I was a little upset with the gun and a little upset with personal stuff going on, so I wanted to remake it. As you guys know who follow me, I give honest reviews. I buy the guns out of my pocket. I'm not monetized and I don't make money from YouTube. So all I'm doing is giving my personal opinion and then you can go from there. So the Glock 4422, I believe Glock could have did better. It's having malfunctions that are not ammo related. So it will fail. I'll show the clear gun. It fails to pick up a round. It fails to extract a round, so you'll get stove pipes and you'll get reverse stove pipes. It does have the adjustable rear sight with your standard Glock picture. Glock claims they make the mags for training purposes. So it's only 10 round mags that has these load assist, but you can't use it. So to load this, part of the malfunctions is you have to pull it down just enough to get the round in. So you'll slowly load it, slowly bring it down where your standard 22s, you just pull this down and dump them all in. So if you do that, they nose dive and they don't feed properly and you won't pick up a round. So you can see how there's like a feed ramp built into the mag. So it comes with two of these 10 round mags. Standard Gen 5 frame. So you have your accessory rail. It fits in the Kydex holsters or leather holsters, whatever you daily carry your 26 or 19 in. Slide release on both sides. Magazine's reversible. I'm right-handed, so I never will reverse it. So as you can see, two 10 round mags. Flip it over so it's right side up. There we go. Make a good case. So in the case, you'll have your changeable back straps with the pins. Your second spare mag, cleaning rod, cleaning brush, lock, and there's a little sight adjuster tool in there. There it is. So that's the tool to adjust your sights up, down, left, and right. Paperwork. So I paid 340 bucks for this. There you, I've seen them go for 360 on average online. I haven't seen any in the dealers. But yeah, my personal opinion, there's a lot more 22s out there that hold 10 rounds. Taurus has a 16 round. Caltech has a 30 round. But if you like Glock, it's a cool thing to own. That's why I bought it. I like Glock. So the mag theory, I'm going to try to be a little nicer this time. So if you notice with Glock in the past few years, they've learned how to drive their sales up. So I believe what's going on with Glock, if you look at the 43 release, everybody thought the single stack 9 was going to come out a year before. And then you know when they released the 42, got some extra sales on the 380, then they released the 43. Then they released the 19X. Then they came out with the model 45 in all black. And they released that it's just not a black 19X. Well, further research shows that is exactly what it is. Then they brought out the model 43X and only silver color. So people who wanted one bought them. Then all of a sudden the 43X came out in black. So my personal opinion is opinion, remember it's not a fact, is I think Glock is just trying to drive their sales up. So I predict right now in the year 2020 that you will see a higher cap mag. So I don't know if it's gonna be 15, 16, 20, 30, I'm not sure what it's gonna be. Because they already admit at SHOT Show videos when you watch them, I believe Landing Tactical, that they said that they tested this gun with higher cap mags and that they weren't happy with it. So they released it with the 10 rounds so it would work flawlessly. Well, in my opinion, again, they should have just released it with the high caps because this will have one malfunction per mag, we'll put it that way. I have 300 rounds through it with the Federal, 
the Winchester and the Remington. So I don't believe that the CCI Stinger will fix this issue because it has more of a picking up the round issue more than it does stove piping. All right, keeping it real. Sorry for my first release if you watched that. Uh, just a lesson learned that you don't make YouTube videos when you're upset. All right, have a good one. Thank you for watching.